For now, the weather is 60% favorable for the start of a new chapter in space exploration. The center in Florida. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is scheduled for liftoff this afternoon. It will be the first time a private company launches astronauts into orbit. Skylar Henry is there for this historic launch. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket stands on launch pad 39A in the countdown to liftoff. This is a unique opportunity to bring all of America together in one moment in time and say, look at how bright the future is. If the weather cooperates, today will mark the first time NASA astronauts launch from U.S. soil in nearly a decade. Astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Bankin will man the Crew Dragon spaceship, accelerating to 17,000 miles per hour on a rendezvous with the International Space Station. 24 hours after liftoff, they'll be greeted by colleague Chris Cassidy on the ISS. SpaceX is the first private company to send American astronauts into orbit, and CEO Elon Musk feels the weight of that responsibility. Uh, it weighs very heavily. Um, that's really all I can think about right now. I really kind of have to kind of mentally block it because otherwise the, the, it would be emotionally impossible to deal with. NASA says this flight will open the door to America's return to the moon and beyond. All of this ultimately is for a purpose and that is to get to Mars. Hurley flew the final shuttle mission in 2011 and has spent years training on the new technology. They called it a flying iPhone in terms of just the technology <laughs> that's going up there. We've seen the Tesla cars, is it a big old iPad in there that's working out in there? How's it all working? It is kind of like a Tesla car in the sense that, that most of the controls for the crew inside the, inside the, the cockpit are all touchscreens. We do have a few hardware buttons and switches for very, very critical things, but almost everything is controlled by, by touch and screen. That's even how you fly it. For nearly a decade, American astronauts have had to hitch rides on Russian rockets. Now that a private company is handling transportation, NASA says it can focus on the science of space exploration. Skyler Henry, CBS News, at the Kennedy Space Center. Astronaut Doug Hurley is married to Karen Nyberg, who grew up in Vining, Minnesota. She is also an astronaut. President Donald Trump is heading to the Kennedy Space Center for a tour of crew quarters and to watch the launch. CBS News plans to carry today's launch is a live special report. Nora O'Donnell will go on the air around 3.20 our time, and the launch is scheduled to happen at 3.33.